It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome in to another live edition here. Another Sunday, not raining. No. Not exactly sunny either. <laughs> but a nice day nonetheless. Um, you got if, football? Yeah, football. Yeah, I just want to say, top of the show, if you're here to just know about the certain samples that we're drinking on, down uh, the first comment that we have pinned is a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, a timestamp. Timestamp, thank you. I couldn't think of it. A uh, timestamp where you can just jump directly to it. Unless you want to see everything we talk about and then you're along for the ride. And we hope you are. Yes, we Because that's, that's fun. <laughs> um, okay, so what are we doing today, Sarah? Um, so today we are going to be doing a sample Sunday and all of these samples will be coming from uh, Adam Nelson who sent us uh, about 28 samples. Yeah. Um, all these back here, which you can see, yeah. these little guys. <laughs> um, so we kind of asked you guys what you want to see. We've had a few answers, the bland straight from the barrel. Um, let's see, the Chattanooga and the Bucks. So we'll just kind of see what comes in um, and pick one and just kind of go along. But we're going to just do it more casually because we've got a lot of things to talk about today. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so first off, we're drinking an Elijah Craig barrel proof that Perry brought over last weekend. Um, we're just now having a chance to get into. This is the A118 bottle from this year. Yep. We haven't had it yet. We've got a bottle, but we haven't opened it. So, mm. someone says it seems green today. Oh, I think it's because my shirt's like a greenish gray and his shirt's a greenish gray. Yeah, we're. I guess. We're in a lot of green. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Everything should be the <laughs> same. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we loved all of the Elijah Craig. Uh, barrel proofs from last year. Oh man! Um, yeah, that's good. Excited to try this year. <laughs> mm. It has a distinctive Elijah Craig. And what's funny is we were yesterday we were at the uh, Bluegrass Bourbon Festival. Kentucky Bourbon. Festival. Sorry, Kentucky <laughs> Bourbon Festival. Which is in the bluegrass. I knew that it didn't. Is the bluegrass. I knew that didn't sound right, but Kentucky Bourbon Festival, and we were at our meetup. And uh, Mamie's Kitchen, and we got a Booker's, which mm -hmm. turned out to be the 2017 03. It was the front porch batch. Front, front porch batch. And Sarah had the brilliant idea of ordering uh, a slice of butterscotch pie. And it was amazing. It was together. amazing, yes. Um, so, of course, we're going to try to pair it, right? And it made it taste like. An Elijah Craig barrel proof. Right. It made the Booker's change into what more of like what an Elijah Craig barrel proof tastes like. Not that the Booker's wasn't good. It was just like those flavors of the pie. Two totally together different was things. Was like, whoa. Yeah. So I guess that Pam's means. Here. Hi, Pam. Uh, I guess that means this is got a butterscotch flavor to it. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah. Which hey, James Richards. I can see that. Hey, James. Hello to everyone. Welcome all. <laughs> Um, someone asked what proof this is. This is 130.6. Um, so we just had like a little pour of this because we don't want to get too... I don't know, <laughs> but we do want to get a little bit because I feel like everyone likes us better at the end of the show when we're more fun. Right, yeah. More fun. <laughs> They're like, I'm not even going to bother joining the chat until at least 30 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Perry, for yeah, sharing thanks, Perry. that with us. We also have some sample shout-out stuff to do. Yes, sample shout-out. First is a... Glorious! I mean, this bottle is in like even the the stamp, the faux tax stamp here, is in perfect condition, which I love. And they even have it perforated right there. That's the so kind. They they're thinking of my nails. And a starter. <laughs> See, it's got a starter right there. I like that. But anyway, like that. this is from Carl Ivy. He is one of our patrons. He is one who came to their meetup in Austin, and he's a regular contributor to chats and comments, and just an all around great guy. So. Uh, and this is the card that Carl sent with us, with it, with it, with it, with it for us, for us. Thanks, and, Carl. Uh, and, speaking and speaking of Carl, Carl is the inspiration be behind what will soon be. Well, he was part of the inspiration behind uh, us doing challenge coins, which these are just trial coins. Um, yes. That we had with us yesterday at the Bourbon Festival, but you know we talked to uh, Roy from Aquavita, we talked to uh, Scott and Bart from the Scotch Just Dummies, um, and Bill, the Whiskey Dick, about how everyone's doing challenge coins now. Mm -hmm. And then we saw Carl on Sunday of our Austin trip, and he was like, "Let's make a challenge coin out of a Nickel City coaster, basically, to commemorate our trip." And I was like, "All right, you sold me. Now I want one." Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. So. What we're doing with these, these are wooden ones that are burnt 
on both sides with a laser. And we decided to make, because when you get a thing of the ceramic challenge coins, you know, it's a large order. Uh, we decided to make meetup only coins. And this mm -hmm. is our friend Jeb Smith, who we've talked about before on the show. You can follow him, Forest to Foyer. Forest Foyer. to Foyer, or Foyer, Foyer <laughs> on Instagram. And he does custom things like this. So he made uh, just a few of these for us. We didn't give them all out at the meetup. Um, so we have a few left. But our next meetup, I don't know if we're going to do any for Bourbon Beyond because they're kind of strict on what you can take you, we in. Can't even t you can't take anything <laughs> with you, so we can't um, do it. But. but definitely for the October 6th Keeneland meetup in Lexington, Kentucky, which is also Sarah's birthday, if you go there, you will get a uh, event-specific challenge coin. So each one is, like this one says, I drank more bourbon at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival official meetup coin, and they're hand-numbered. It was nutty. Uh, it, was it doesn't <laughs> say that on there, but it should. <laughs> yeah, it was, and it was nutty. I got nutty at. I got nutty. <laughs> That's with, what it should be. I got nutty with its bourbon night. <gasps> That's what it should say. <laughs> we might make some that say that. Um, so yeah, so if you come to a meetup, you'll get... You know, the only place that you can get a wood challenge coin will be at, at those meet specific meetups. So that's cool. Yeah. And our regular ceramic ones will, they're in the works. We're, we're working on them. Yeah, we're working on those. Um, several people have been asking which Elijah Craig barrel proof this is. This is A118. It's 130.6 proof. Mm -hmm. And it is delicious. Again, thank you, Carl. Thanks, can't Carl. Wait he to... popped in for a second, but he said oh, he had to go. Okay, well, that's okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Yep. All right. Put this. It totally should. They like the nutty. I got nutty yep. with its bourbon I got night at. Nutty. <laughs> yes. Um, and our last. Where is it? What? Oh. Yeah. I was hiding. It. Yeah. Our last sample shout out comes from MetaHuman Dave, uh, which is not Bullet. This is actually another. I love mystery how he crossed sample. it out. Yeah. It's not, not Bullet. Not Bullet. It just says, this is one of my favorite bourbons. It's also currently my wife's favorite whiskey, Metahuman Dave, Brolic Whiskey. Interesting. So this is the thing that we can't open until after the tasting. Right. So we will do that on a live show. Sure, soon. Soon. But we've got a, we've got a, so many things from Adam to get through Yes. first, so. We're not going to get through all of them, You don't of drink when I say nutty, because I only say it because he says it. Like, I don't say it in context. It's not in context. You don't say it in context? I think you only drink it... When Chad says nutty in context when he's describing oh. a bourbon. Oh, wow. If you want to play the safe drinking game. <laughs> Completely, totally. If you want to get crazy with it, then you safe. can drink whenever you want. But. Yeah. <laughs> mm. This is good. This is really good. I highly recommend bourbon with butterscotch pie. Just, so Just you know. saying. Just, Just saying. saying. Just putting that out there in the world. I mean, Just did saying. I need another reason to eat butterscotch pie? I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> If you, because actually we looked on the menu, it was like Booker's was $12, Elijah Craig, uh, Elijah Craig, uh, Barrel Proof was like 20 or 22 or something. So it's like, if you want the poor man's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, not that I would ever recommend trying to change the taste of Booker's, but order Booker's and a slice of butterscotch pie and there you have your Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. <laughs> David Hardison, I think I'm saying that right. David Hardison said, Yo, sorry, I had to include that. Yo, sorry if Yo. I made you all jump at Bottled and Bond last night. Had a few at the festival. Food was good for, food was good at that place. Prices for the bourbon way high though. Agreed, we were at the Bottled and Bond kitchen and bar at the Bardstown Bourbon Company last night after the festival. And someone did walk by and was like, hey! And we were like, what? Oh yeah, Hi. that's right. And then he just left and we were like, I looked at Chad, I said, do you know him? He was like, nope. I don't, I don't nope. know. And I was like, nope. Maybe. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so. But Good to see you. Good to see you. You can you can, you can come say hi. It's okay. Yeah, please. It's always okay. come say hi. Just pull up a chair. <laughs> right. Say, what are we drinking? All right. So speaking of what are we drinking, um, again, we asked at the bourbon or at the at the bourbon of this episode at the beginning of this episode, which of these lovely samples behind us that you would like to see us try? Obviously, we can't try all twenty eight. <laughs> Most of them are in the description. How Sarah's nail. Um, it's still not good, but I'm living with in it. In the arms I'm not... of an angel. <laughs> Wait for me. If for only 25 cents a day, <laughs> you can repair this poor girl. In the arms oh of an gosh. angel. Girl's it's over, nail. it's over, it's over, it's over. You went too far. <laughs> no, that's not the song. Might have been a... Yeah, Sarah McLaughlin, The Pets. 
don't make light of their situation. I'm not making light puppies. of their situation mm -hmm. at all. They're just puppies. I'm making light of and your kitties. fingernail situation. Yeah. No, my fingernail situation is fine. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. all right. All right. It's she'll, not so bad that I went and got it fixed yet. She'll, so. uh, <laughs> she'll live. I'll live. All um, right. So sorry. for those of you who don't care about my fingernail, um, we <laughs> talked about doing, we've had three requests so far. We got the blade and straight from the barrel, which I'm happy to open. This was dumped in 2015. Um, 130.9 proof. We had this last week and when we were on with the Aussies, so I don't know if you guys want to see that again. We had a couple people vote for it. Um, Brian and Monica want to see it, which is totally fine. I'm happy to drink it. Um, Any excuse. But we did just do it, so it's up to you. <laughs> and then we got this 1816 Chattanooga, which is 113.6 proof. I didn't realize that. Ooh, McScrooge's selection. Oh, oh it's I like, epic. I want to drink this one. <laughs> And then uh, someone else said Bucks 8 Year. This is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon 90 proof. I feel like if we're going to drink higher proof ones, we should do those first. Ooh, Mark Brown. Oh, Mark Cheers. Brown. Thank you. Uh oh. What? It's right here. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's already got it on deck. I do. But I think we. Hi, how's it going? Totally meant to do that. My name's Chad, and this is my first time <laughs> handling objects. <laughs> first time live. Uh, I think we should pour something, and then we'll do a cowbell <laughs> cheers from Mark Brown. Yes. So. All right. Let's. Be, all right. be heard, internet. Mm. What you want us to try first? Mm -hmm. Would it be heard what? What are you talking about? Be, let us know. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> and then I say, thought you said, hmm, and I was like, why did you just no, said? No, I said, hmm. I see. Um, no, you will not get a polar fleece blanket with the <laughs> donation today. Act now, and you'll receive this free cap. No, you won't. Just kidding. Don't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Null and void any time. Time is ticking, ticking, ticking. Mm. End of the future. No one said anything yet, so I think that we should go with what I want. Chattanooga. Chattanooga. On the Chattanooga choo-choo train. That's what I... And then you all can vote for the next one. Like in the description of the episode, there's a bunch of ones listed, so. Almost all of them. Feel yeah. free, almost all of them. Oh, and then Whiskey Yoshi said the Boondocks cast strength 11 year. Jaeger bombs, no, we're not opening it up <laughs> like that. Absolutely not. I Jager hate. Bombs. Jaeger bombs, Jaeger bombs. Oh no, I hate mixing Red Bull with liquor, and I all really, really hate anything licorice flavored, so. So no Jaeger bombs? No. Like, maybe a tequila shot every once in a while. How much? If we get the triangle and I get to ding it, I'll do a shot of tequila. Not that I have any Red Bull I here. I shouldn't say that. But how much would it take for the... Oh, Party Source. Hey, Party Source reviews okay. is here. thanks. Thank you. They've got a lot of reviews on, on their YouTube channel. Boondocks. Um, check them out. How much yeah. would it take for you to do a Jaeger bomb on air, <gasps> Super Chat-wise? At least... I mean, I want to say a hundred dollars, but I feel like that's really high for something that <laughs> yeah. it will. It's a we temporary, can, uncomfortable state for me. So, oh, you can but I think I'm gonna say a hundred dollars. Yeah, you can say that because you hope no one ever does. I it. hope no one ever does it. If okay. I put it at, at like fifty dollars, I think somebody Someone would might, think it was so funny it. that they might yeah. do. They might pay fifty dollars just to watch me squirm. But again, I don't have any Red Bull, so we can't. We do can't it. do it. We can't do it today but i think if i was gonna do it it would have I, to be at least 100. i do think there is a bottle of jaeger from like 2005 down in the freezer even just hearing the word jaeger makes my stomach get in knots Ugh. okay this is for sorry i'm gonna get 10 triangles next week they said <laughs> this, so this is, is for yeah. mark this is for mark brown this is a cowbell cheers thank cowbell you Cowbell cheers take me away and the party like it should be a song we yeah we each cheers for each of the super chats. Ooh, intriguing. Again, this is the 1816 Chattanooga uh, calf strength, 113.6 proof, mixed Scrooge selection. That's different. That is different. I feel like you're about to break out into that song. What? I'm different. Yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> I don't even know that song. What are you talking about? Never mind, never mind. I want the ten triangles, please. <laughs> I just need one, actually. Ten triangles. Um, it's got a nice little burn to it. Oh, that's very or woody. Heat, I should say. 
That's so different than what we were just drinking. Yeah, it's woody. It's a little little dry. Um, Monica, is that what that flavor is? Because I could never put my finger on it. What? I always think everything has like a slight licorice. What are you talking about? She said also why we both can't drink Willet. The anise, I think that's how you say it, anise mm. flavor. Huh. And I always think Willet products, except for like the old source stuff, has that signature thing, which I feel like you either love it or hate it, and it's really just not well, Most of it alley. is still all sourced. Well, but we've had the ones lately that have been yeah. like very licorice-y, and I'm like, uh, yeah. oh, I just can't do it. I got you. So. Right on. Hmm. That's good. I like it. It's definitely different from what we were having. I mean, <laughs> look. Everything's we, different. We set the bar pretty high when you start off drinking Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and then you start trying some yeah. craft. <laughs> some more craft or, yeah. you know, not Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So. Well, not big distillery. Right. Yeah. Mm. But it's good. No, I like it. It is really woody, like but it. it backed off on the second one. I can't tell you what the prices or anything like that um so i can't you know obviously none of this stuff we can say well we recommend or not because of the price because we don't know we don't the know price. off the top of our heads if you know what it costs in your area and that's a normal price if you don't think it's like inflated or anything let us know and then we can maybe make a judgment call based off that yeah um at my sister's with no bourbon oh carl oh no carl we'll drink one for you watching the texans on one tv nascar on the other grilling for everyone I'm and trying, trying to, to watch, watch y'all at the same that time that is dedication sir carl you are a multitasking son of a bourbon <laughs> son of a bourbon. son, of, a bourbon. son, son of, of a bourbon see you party source thanks for joining He's seriously the nicest. We yeah. went there once and he, we, he like... We know him. We know him. Yeah. He was really nice to us at the tasting bar. If you're ever in northern Kentucky and you're looking for somewhere to go have a taste of bourbon, you need to go to the party source. Yes. And Highly like, recommend a trip to northern Kentucky anyways. And like I said, they uh, he has a, a YouTube channel and he's reviewed a ton of beers and whiskeys and really everything. Just liquor and beer. Like, all over. Mm. Um... Okay, so everyone keeps saying, and I'm just going to take this point to say, before I get into what I was about to say, hand me that bottle with the card on it, please. This one? Oh, because yes. there's, there's two with a card on it. With the business card on with it. With the business. Not the notepad. The paper. business. No. Business card. Business. This is a blend bottle that we have been working on for our Keeneland meetup that's in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. We will be trying this because we've filled it up halfway. We're still scientifically toying with it. Um, but we're going to try it because we haven't tried it. See what we think. Try to figure out where we want to go with it. That's later on in the episode. I say that because I hope you stick around because I think we're about to get off on a couple of tangents. Um, so bear with us and stay <laughs> around for this guy. Um, yes. So here, you may have that back now. Okay. Anyways, uh, Monica and some other people. Well, who else said that? Phoebe and Just a bunch Rachel. of people have said, like watching football and you guys. We were literally ah, talking this morning yes. about whether or not we should move the Sunday live stream because of Sunday football. We were like, are we interrupting people's football schedules? Are people not going to want to watch? Because football is very important. Um, Especially in Texas. Right. So, But then we were like, what day are we going to move it to? Saturdays aren't going to work. And then weeknights are just not good for anybody. So we decided to keep it. So it's really good to hear you guys say... That you're watching, watching us at the same watching time. Watching Star Wars and you guys. Well, there you go, Brandon. So we love it. Hey, TNT Blues, Blues Corner, Corner, one of our new patrons. Waiting for the storm. Aw, uh, be hey, safe. Hey, be safe. Be safe. To you uh, and your safety. I am ahead of you and don't have anything. Well, too late. So I will, I am forced to play a cowbell solo. <laughs> ah, come on. I'm not warmed up. Sorry. Son of a... Not my tempo. <laughs> okay. What was it? Little beat, little beat there. <laughs> what was it? Uh, it was actually a beat um, from uh, Pet Band days. Oh, Pet Band. Oh, because Chad, he used to do that. If you didn't know. If you didn't watch our uh, millionth, millionth view 10K video, then you would not know that Chad was in high school band. Or me. I also was. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't a drummer. So. You're lucky I don't break out the clarinet <laughs> whenever we get a super chat. That'd be like punishment. That would be. But thank you, TNT's Blues Corner. That was very yeah. nice of you. Thanks for the super chat. Thank you. We appreciate you. Um, have we gotten more votes on what to go to Well, next? we've gotten a couple, but these are the four ones that people have really spoken on so far. So if you're okay. just now joining us, 
go into the description of the episode. There's a bunch of uh, samples listed there. We've got them all behind us. We'll pull the ones that you guys want to see. Um, but yeah, so what's next? Uh, we did this one. I mean, we could do the Blantons. That's what, two, we got two votes for it. What do you think? Joseph Brezo. Joseph Brezo says 132. Hey, oh. We, well, we got that from the party source saying do the... Um, he said do the Chattanooga, which we just did. Oh, okay. Buck. Mash and Drum says Buck. He did Mash vote early, too. Hey, we just met Mash and Drum. Jason, right? Oh, Brian Allred said he's in college, and who did we play yesterday? We played Murray State yesterday. And whooped them. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we'll do the Blantons next, and then someone else voted for the... Yeah, it was it was good to meet you in line the other day, Mash and Drum. It. Yes. He got. He was first in the he Four Roses 130th line. He is dedicated. Which he's, he's an Ohioan. An Ohioan from Columbus. Yep. Um. Once you get that open, we'll talk about <laughs> what our new bottles that. are. Talking about him being first in line for the bottle made me uh, realize yes. we're supposed to be talking about the new things that we've received lately. Did That's I just? Great. I rinsed this. Why don't I just get a new yeah, one? Yeah, good enough. There you go. There we are. So again, this is Buck's Straight Bourbon Bucks. Whiskey. Eight year, 90 proof. So you we're say that and I think of the guy from Uncle Buck. John, John Candy? Candy? Yeah. <laughs> I just see John Candy's face holding a bourbon. Look at that pancake. <laughs> it's so big. It's so huge. Uh, she hasn't seen Uncle Buck, everybody. <laughs> Why would you tell them that? Oh, this is... It's none of their business. <laughs> nutty. Now you have to drink. Because oh. it's real. This is not a drill, folks. It's nutty. Smell it, smell it, smell it. It is, but it also reminds me of, okay, you ever walk into like a Lowe's or a Home Depot and you can smell the lumber department in the distance and that's what it smells like and nutty. And nutty. And nutty. So lumber and nutty. Good morning from Alaska. Well, good afternoon from Kentucky. There you go. Hello. Can you see Russia from your house? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, geez. Mm. So Buck. I've seen Buck in on our shelves in our in our stores. I haven't picked it up before, but I know the bottle. I know the name. It's a an eight year Kentucky bourbon. I think it's probably sourced. I would say by the smell of it, maybe from Jim Beam. I don't know. <laughs> Someone pointed out that National Addiction Awareness Month and National Bourbon Heritage Month are the same month. Which, I mean, okay, National Addiction Month should and needs to happen at some point. But I would maybe. maybe I would put it in like National. Uh, cocaine month or national there's Chad not funny I know I'm sorry <laughs> um, in Anchorage he said he can't see it from his house oh, okay well this is super vintagey S musty Scotty why are you just yelling out Pikesville Rye is it just is it like Joseph and you're just like Pikesville <laughs> Pikes for the ride. That's not what I sounded like. I know. But it, it became that shortly. Oh, I know. It shortly became that. Yes, yes. Yes. This is good. It's um, mm -hmm. not as nutty as it smells, but it's uh, it's pretty solid. It's a good 90 proof. Right? I mean, I think it's at a disservice because it's 90 proof when we were just drinking 113 and 130. Yeah. So it automatically, made, to me, is like, eh, it's, it's a little weak. But that's because we just had higher proof stuff. So, I mean, I'm glad we have a lot of this left that we can come back to it. Right, yeah. Cow oh, <laughs> Nutty, where's that cowbell? <laughs> I was like, huh? What is this code? Where's that cowbell? <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I think we should go to what's new. Let's do some what's new. Let's do some what's new while we sip this. Okay. All right. <laughs> he wants it. And here it is again. <laughs> okay. We will give you the old cowbell cheers. Let's do a one, 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 one. Got that? One, 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 one. Well, that explanation really cleared it up, but go ahead. Here we go. Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Um, mm. Let's... Thank you, Jose. Hmm? Did, what did I you say? You said Joseph. Oh, Joseph! He's his mind. Sorry, Jose, for calling you Joseph. <laughs> for the Joseph. Jose. We got another one, but that was because you already did the Joseph. For so the I Joseph. don't think we need to do anything. All right, quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's I mean, it new? Was, it was a nice super chat, though. It I, was nice. Thank you, thank Christian. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. 
Um, what's new? What's new? Well, I saw someone say they were drinking off your rocker, so let's start with the Booker's, which Ooh. I didn't grab, but it is there. Bing! Boop! Boop! Bing! <laughs> uh, 27, uh, 2018-03, which is the Kentucky Chew. Yeah. I'm really excited. I get really excited about every time there's new bookers. Yeah. Like, I can't wait to try it against my latest favorite. It's almost like, is it going to be my new favorite? I don't know. I can't wait. Will it go into our best of 2018? I'm not sure. And that's what goes on in my head. I'm sure some bookers will go into our best of 2018, but we have to narrow it down from the four releases of the year into which bookers will go into our best of 2018. Um, what else was new, Sarah? Um, let's see. I don't like when you call me that. <laughs> that Heaven Hill? Yeah, this Heaven Hill, which was a nice... Gift from Pear Bear, uh, Perry Ritter of This Is My Bourbon Podcast, mm -hmm. who is now on YouTube. He is on YouTube. Go check him out. Uh, I don't think... He's doing a live episode. I don't think he has a channel name yet, so you might just have to probably search it on YouTube and mm -hmm. it'll come up. Uh, give him a subscribe so, this is he, my bourbon so he can name this his my bourbon URL. Um, but he got us this nice Heaven Hill uh, plasticky 200. Nope, sorry, 375 which I believe is from 2009, which is always cool. That's this nice is almost have... 10 years old in the bottle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so this is very nice. That's new. Yep. And... You may be missing him in the chat today, but he had other plans, which we totally <laughs> understand. He's not obligated. We don't own him. Nah, we love him for what his, he just I helps us. don't understand <laughs> why he's not here. <laughs> um, um, and then I guess... The OZ. Yeah, so pick this up. I don't know about it. This is the OZ Tyler. They're on the the bourbon trail now, so I thought I should. We should familiarize try ourselves. Try to get ourselves familiarized with it, but it's Terra Pure, which we've had those little remember those little fifty millimeter. That one day when we did those little mil. sample bottles, and it was like the Winchester and the po the Pony something Gold Pony or something like that. Yeah, something Pony. And something else, and. It was like a day of punishment. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, so I'm really hopeful for what's in here. So the thing, this, this is a 90 proof bourbon. It's just twenty dollars. Um, it's from Owensboro, Kentucky, and it says aged a minimum of one year and a day in new charred oak. So yeah. So. So this uses we filter with Terra Pure, an innovation that re removes impurity and dramatically enhances. Taste. So this is kind of a cheating bourbon. <laughs> <gasps> you said it. Well, they're trying to speed up the process, sure. which people have been doing, trying to do for years. Mm -hmm. But we will have an open mind when we go to try this. Copper Pony. That's what it was called. Copper Pony. Thank um, you. Which oh could also be the name of strip club. It totally could. The Copper um, Pony. Someone else said uh, just had the little book too. Was fantastic. We have that too. Um, which maybe we can convince Chad to open it sometime. I think so. I think we'll do an uncorking of it. The first one was so good, so I'm really excited. Um, also, mm, let's, okay, that's fine. What else? I was going to do the... Okay, go for it. Okay. Chad wants to wait on this one. It's a surprise. <laughs> Unless you watch our Patreon and Instagram story. And <laughs> right. It's not a surprise, but... Yeah. So Lord's Rock sent us this. They sent us a first box um, when they got their like initial like small... Mm-hmm. Glass little, burner in yeah, the rocks. little shot glass. Uh huh. And then they they said we want to send you a. And we did another, an episode on a present. It. We did a, basically an uncorking of the of the. Yeah. Lord's Rocks thing. Um, but this is if you're a fan of the. Whiskey stones. Stones. Uh, that's what these are. So if you don't want to water down, but you do want to chill, you can always use whiskey stones. Just put them in the freezer. It comes with the bag to put it in there. And I will say, like generally, I'm not a huge fan of whiskey stones, but there were some days this summer that were so hot and we were outside and I had a Booker's and I was like, I would like to put something in this to make it cooler, but I do not want to add ice. And this was, it was like, I have just the thing. Yes. And so, just like their small shot glasses, these are their rocks glasses. I do love their glasses. Like these are really cool, but the yeah. small ones are great. I feel they're so petite and Chad will just hand them to me as like, here, just try this little taste. And yeah. it makes me feel special, like a little bit <laughs> just for me. And it comes in this nice wooden box. I believe this is on our Amazon influencer page, amazon.com uh, slash shop. That's not what smells. These smell. Yeah, those smell. Amazon.com slash shop slash, slash it's bourbonite uh, for this one and the smaller version. I believe it's on. I'll double check yeah. after the episode. But I mean, I think it's, interested. it's a great gift for like someone who's, you know, into bourbon, but not, you know, some people are on the novice side where they would be like, oh, I just put it with ice and Coke. 
And you're yeah. like, cool, that's fine. T- totally drink it however you want, but this probably isn't for you. And then some people who are on the like elitist side who are like, I would never. You're like, okay, cool, that's not for you. But in, somewhere in the middle. Like, <laughs> so our answer is the same for both crowds. That's a <laughs> cool. That's, it's a nice gift. Cool, I think. whatever floats your boat. <laughs> whatever floats your boat. <laughs> oh, so you're a dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, dog. okay. <laughs> we should do a movie together. No, seriously, this could be a big thing. All right, say hello to your mother for me. It's just uh, mm-hmm, Mark mm-hmm. Wahlberg of it all. Um, and then lastly, if you want to get the, the big right. the big guns out, we were able to get Ta-da! a Four Roses two LE. Of two of them, no big deal. I got one. Because there was two of us. <laughs> um, it's signed by Brent Elliott. Brent Elliott, Master of Four Roses, no big deal. We totally <laughs> nerded it out when we walked up to get it signed because he was like, hey, Chad. He said, hey, Chad. He didn't say hey to me. He was like, well, he, he said hey name. to me. He was like, hey. And then he was like, hey, Chad. He was like, ugh, hey, Chad. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and no. we were like, <gasps> no, we loved it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is the limited edition small batch for this year. It is also the 130th anniversary of Four Roses. Which, congrats which to them. That's extra amazing. extra cool. Um, this is barrel strength, by the way. It is, oh, math, <laughs> 54, so 108.27. Mm-hmm. So, 108.352. Five, 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 three. Five, three. I don't know. 108 and a half. Something like that. <laughs> this is bottle 5,257 of 1,340. And, um... Oh, thanks. From the Mash and Drum. Hey, Mash Super and Chad. Drum. He was first in line for this bottle. Yes, he was, like, he was we, first. It was so funny. We pulled up really early in the morning. I mean, it wasn't that early compared to how early we've gotten out before. It was like six. And so we pulled up, and it's pitch black. I mean, it's so, so, so dark. It's dark. And we see these people standing at the front of the line, and we slow down to kind of figure out where we're supposed to go park. And he just we just hear him go, Chad and Sarah? And we're like, <laughs> huh? And then Perry's in the back seat. He just rolls down the window. He's like, hey! Yeah. So that was pretty cool. He drove all the way down from Columbus like the ah. day before just to get in line really early for this bottle, which is awesome. So we're really glad he got one. Um, we have two, so I'm sure we'll open one. And... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. We'll open one. You know what's one. weird? I thought they normally put the recipe on the back in the in the years. They normally do. This does not. It just says... Huh. That's the, interesting. Uh, hand-selected four of our ten bourbon recipes... And blended. Each gently aged to perfection. And then and then married them together, yeah. Very intriguing. Yes. Mm. Okay. We'll have to we'll have to call our friend Brent and yes. just ask him. Burley said those whiskey stones during the grand opening of Austin would have been Burley, Jason Momoa. Yeah, you love <laughs> If you've seen our Austin video, you know that you Burley, know Burley is, Burley is, is. Jason <laughs> Momoa. But we have not done a percussion moment for Ah, we haven't done a percussion for Jason. moment for, for Jason. No, we haven't. For the mash and drum. For the mash and drum. Whoop, there it was. There it was. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what to do, especially in the in the presence of a real percussionist. Percussionist. I don't know. Um, While you do that, I'm going to get our next sample. Oh, he, he sent us the mash bill. Oh, well, how did you know? Let's see. I don't, can we do the blend straight from the barrel? Because Monica and Brian both asked for sure. it. Sure. Okay. So the mash bill is a 10-year bourbon of OBSB recipe, a 13-year OBSF, a 14-year OE, OESV, and a 16-year-old OESK. You... Just twist it. Thanks for that mash and drum. Ah. <laughs> I know. I, I couldn't think of anything He's cool. such a comedian. All right, so this is, we're going to do the Blanton straight from the barrel. This was dumped on. <laughs> There's an extra. <clears throat> want to grow on. January 8th, 2015, barrel 471, warehouse H, Rick 44, bottle 27, 130.9 proof. So we're going to get back up there in the proof. Um, you know what? We're not even done with what's new. I know, but I got to pour something because we've been sitting empty okay. for a while. I thought you forgot. No. But you did not. Okay. So we got Careful. some straight from the barrel. Wait, we're not done. Oh, I see. Now you did forget. I forgot about that one thing. Yeah. Okay. Don't mind me. There's plenty left. Look at that. There's not even a third of the bottle. <gasps> so much sass. 
Recipe was on press bottles. Oh. 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 Wait. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Thank you for sending. Yes. Okay. Guess we're not press. But we are. How do we get on that? By the way, if anybody knows that, we've been like... We just need to ask Brent. <laughs> we do need to ask Brent. <laughs> okay, so blends oh. straight from the barrel. Um, Which one? This one. Okay. Yeah, 130.9 proof. Of course, from Warehouse H. That's where they all come from. That's their metal warehouse. Mm. This was dumped in 2015. Uh, it was gonna light you up <laughs> after what we were just drinking. Whew. I feel like I could put a lighter up and go. Whew. It's good. Oh, that Blanton's taste. It, it, it's just so good. It is. I've never met a Blanton straight from the barrel that I haven't liked. That it's just classic bourbon taste. Mm. It's so good. Hmm. So, but it's it's like light. I feel like the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is more dark tones. Yeah. And like a Blanton's is more light tones. It does have not so much of like a deep char. It's, it is on the lighter side, yeah, I think. Yeah, it doesn't it's have like the... But it's still got that heat and that like oomph. Yeah, it doesn't have like the wood notes. It definitely has the oomph. But it doesn't have like the barrel so much in there. I'm just getting like a lot of light kind of caramel, vanilla, like typical bourbon flavors, but just amplified. Ooh. In a pleasing way. James said, which one was better, that one or Austin? Um, I mean, that's really hard to say because that one in Austin I don't really want to insult you again. <laughs> it was his plans. I know. Uh, I'm going to say your Blanton's. I can't, I can't fairly say. Like, I want to say your Blanton's because I remember it being really, really good and very close to being as much as I like the La Maison de Whiskey. But, um, but I, I, my memory is Jason! Just, I'm so over that. Oh my gosh. A Blanton's fight fight. We would love to if we had more of all of them. I think we yeah. have some, but. Let's get our Aussie friends to bring us a bottle mm. of each over next year. Chris is in the chat too. Thanks to, for joining us, Chris. Chris, what are you doing? You're, you're over here on vacation. Yeah, he wanted to. Okay, well cool. Hey Chris, now that I have you, I've been meaning to talk to you. Can I get a straight from the barrel and a gold for next year and the green, especially since it, you said it's going away? So I get those three bottles next year, and if I could get them this year, that'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> Just put in your orders, why don't you? And some fries. <laughs> we got lots of people in the chat. Jason Newman. Jason Newman. Vito is going back. What? What? James. Vito's going to Japan. He needs to bring us back some of the Japanese wild turkey. Please. This is not a drill. An eight year and, <laughs> and a, a 13. 13 year, please. Come on, come on, come on. This is not a joke. Come on, Vito. I will be so happy. I really, it's very important to my soul. All right, go ahead. Jason Newman. Jason Newman. Join me. No. Jason Shh. Newman. Too loud. That's better. <laughs> Jason, she didn't want to join me. I will. We'll just... I don't sing. Well, it's just chanting. I rarely chant. We chanted in Austin a lot, but it's not a cult. It's not a cult. Totally not a um, cult. Not even a little bit. Yeah. We've... we've uh, Mash and Drum was saying about um, yelled, yelling at the tour guide for the Straight from the Barrel not being available in the U.S. I don't understand why. I don't understand why I have to go... The Le Maison de Whiskey pick, I mean, that's a pick, but... This amazing Blanton's has to go all the way around the world just to come back to me. It's not supposed to, I'm sure. Well, what's but... weird is like, you know, I've been on a Blanton's pick now, and that's gonna, it's not out yet, but that's going to get cut down to the 93 proof. You know, that's not going to be a 120 like the Maison, Le, Le, Le Maison de Whiskey. It's just so sad. Yeah, it's sad. So sad. Anyways, this, mm. I do wish, and that's why I'm glad, like, People keep sending us samples of it, which is amazing, and I'm so thankful. But I always feel bad accepting samples of it because I'm like, well, we've had it. Like, I don't want to take your stuff. They're like, no, we want to send it to you. I'm like, we love cool. It. I mean, it would be great to have some in stock in case we ever are able to or do want to do a, a Blanton's fight. flight fight. Like, we're going to need those samples yeah. in order to make it happen. Yeah. So thank you Absolutely. for doing that. It's amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, did you not see the hooded figures? Yeah, that was the cult, the cult, of, cult of Ardbeg. Ardbeg. 
Yeah. We're definitely we, not going to be invited to that cult. We see said that. it tastes like Band-Aids. <laughs> That's a typical descriptor of scotch, though. Even scotch drinkers, drinkers will say that. Mm. All right, our last what's new. Our last what's new. It's right behind you directly. Literally right behind me. It's very awkward ah. for you to pull. So, you saw, if you saw last week's uh, live stream with the Aussies, with Chris and Lil, um, you saw the uh, Master's Keep, the 1894? 1894. Yeah, it's right over there. Um, so, we decided to get the third release of the American version, the Revival, um, which is right here. So, now we have all four. Thank you Yay. to Chris. <laughs> we have them. To Chris and Leanne. So this is our last what's what's new, and it's 101 proof, which I love. Such a great wild turkey proof. That's a lot of new stuff. Got a lot of new stuff lately. It's the season though. Tis the season. Tis the season. It's Bourbon Heritage Month. It's this is amped up. I feel like now through know. Christmas is Bourbon season because they're yes. gonna just be so much more stuff coming out and the yep. releases and the lines and the pappy lotteries and everything. Um, so I kind of think run this past you. That we should do that next before we've had too much. I completely agree. Okay. You read my mind. All right. Good. I can do that, by the way, so watch out. <gasps> Todd Cooper says, careful, my revival fell two inches and shattered. Huh? That is a tragedy. Brian Brennicky. Brian. Thank Aww. you. Just Thank you, Brian. Just want to say thanks for what? You're Just the one who said, I know. he gave us samples and spent time with us, and then he says thanks. Tell you what, we're going we're gonna to taste our blend and then we're going to cowbell cheers you with that blend which is really special because it's one of a kind it is one of a kind so, just saying yeah no <laughs> hope you guys are doing good um the festival was hot yesterday, i'm going to so. step over here to get that notebook because it has what we have in it oh i'll just okay no it's okay okay he's gonna do it i wanted to do this anyway i'll get a new glass sorry for making so much noise well, you don't keep these organized. No, 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 I got a new one. Oh, I see. I do, too. I do, too. <laughs> Roy's here? Where's Roy? Aquavite? Aquavite's here? What? Hey, Roy, what's up? Roy! Check out Roy's channel, Aquavite, I really like, yeah, I on really, YouTube. He does the thing where he, like, kills the bottle and throws it. Yeah, like recycling day. I love it. It's great. Very cool, very cool stuff. Highly recommend. Plus, listening to his accent is, vi what's wrong? Sorry, hold on, I guess I gotta fix something. The shadow on my face? <laughs> yeah. Chad's trying to cover me, he just, he wants to be the star. <laughs> I'm the star. No, we love Roy. Um, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this while you do that. Things are happening. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Am I? Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, just a little bit. Mmm, that smells real good. Is that too much, would you say? That's okay. That's okay? We need to be able to taste it. I'm not sure at what level you're gonna be mad, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. You got a little bit more than me, so. <clears throat> we're gonna let you know what is in our tailgate blend here. Don't <coughs> judge us. We got we had fun. We were going for a certain profile. <laughs> so everything is one ounce. So I'll just say that from the top. At this point. Yeah. Everything's one ounce up until this point. Uh, Old Forester 1920. The Woodford Double Oaked. Mm -hmm. JTS Brown. For the nutty. Booker's Bar uh, Backyard Barbecue. Mm -hmm. That's the 2018-01. Because obviously Booker's. Old Crow Reserve. For that foliage and shit. For that foliage and shit. Because it will be a fall meetup, so it will, yeah. it's important. 1792 foolproof. Stag Jr. 130. Eagle Rare. Evan Williams 1783. Because it's my birthday. <laughs> Evan Hill Bottled and Bond. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Wild Turkey 101, because come on. Jim Beam Double Oaked, so it's a double double oaked. A double double. <laughs> Pure Kentucky XO. Again for the nutty. Elijah Craig. Barrel Proof B517, the award-winning batch. Yep, and that's And that's it. That's it. Yeah, but so a that's lot what of we those, have in there so far. We got some Barrel Proofs and some High Proofs in there to build that base, and then we had some 
we put some not filler, but I would say I some some 80, lighter things in 86 there. Eighty six proof is our lowest proof. Some lighter things in there because we're going to probably double up on some of those as we continue to fill this. Decide what it needs a little bit more of. Oh yeah, we are. Um, and it's going to be easier to play with those ratios with the lower proof stuff, even when we get down to the bottles of bond or the eighty six proof. Um, to round it out, but we still yeah. we wanted like the richness of those bar uh, barrel proofs, but mm -hmm. you know So judge us all you want. It's fine. It's my birthday. I can do what I want. That's right. She can cry if she wants to. To Brian To Brian and Cheers. Tammy and Tammy of course. Yes, it just said Brian on there. So <laughs> I Had Brian on the mind. I want to see a blind challenge from Roy Ooh. to Chad and Sarah. I mean Okay, I'm all about it I'd love but yeah, that. we were we were saying we would like to do a uh, yeah we we're saying an intro to each world. Huh? Absolutely, check out Aquavite on YouTube, and you were saying you loved his series where he's recycling bottles. Yeah, it's really clever because he's taking his bottles to the I think they call it the bin probably over there mm -hmm. the the dust bin the dust bin. Now I'm just trying to go <laughs> Aussie again, um, and he's chucking you know empty bottles into the recycling bin, but as he's doing it he gives a review and he does like, the one we watched was like 15 and, and 15 minutes. Right, and that's really cool because you really get cool. like a one minute synopsis on this bottle. And oh, then Tammy's it... napping. Let's not wake her up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, no, I mean, I think that's cool. Like, oh, hey, while I'm getting rid of this, like, let's recap. It's more like a, re a recap on my thoughts of this. Well, he had a, a, a what that... I love about it is he had an entire bottle's worth to like really absorb to... it and get through that's it. That's what I and, mean. And, and, well, just because we're talking nice about you, oh, Roy, you thanks. don't have to, but thank you. If we wish you could chat. come over for my birthday slash our meetup. But... And, and can you explain that weird E nine ninety nine? What what what, what is that? <laughs> what is, is that, that Monopoly money? No, don't be mean. <laughs> you be nice to him. <laughs> I um, am. Plus, his editing from an editor is really good. Love his style. Love his his camera work and his editing. It's just really cool. So yeah, we recommend you check out Aquavite. Yeah, cheers to you, Roy. Cheers, Roy. Cheers. <laughs> try not. Do or do not. There is no try. Thank you, Yoda. <laughs> Master Yoda. Mmm. I think we're doing pretty damn good so far. He likes it. If this bottle goes over really well, we might put a recipe up. Even though it's crazy. Like, I don't think anyone's going to recreate this. I really don't. But in case you did want to, I don't I mean, know. I think the hardest thing, honestly, would, would to be uh, able to find a bottle of Old Crow, Old Crow Reserve. You think so? Yeah, it's just not really out there that But much. most people probably don't have... I mean, well, actually, I say that, but that's probably not true. Most people probably do have a lot of this stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. You have to find a specific bookers. Um, what else would be kind of hard? The, well, the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof 517. That has blend... It's, me, it's mingled it's nicely. It's mingled nicely. Is it nutty? Thank you. Everyone say happy birthday. Thank you, Bourbon Blind. Oh, Bourbon Blind. It was so great to meet you it yesterday. It was great to meet you and talk shop about cameras. Today stuff. isn't my birthday, but thank you for the birthday <laughs> super chats. My birthday is actually October 6th, where yeah. we'll be doing the meetup. But um, Everyone should come to that meetup. I very much appreciate the early birthday wishes. Yes. No, but seriously, you. you should come to that meetup. We will it's, have bourbons and snacks. There's going to be horse racing. You can gamble. There's going to be food. There's going to be exclusive Sunshine. drinks. There's going to be challenge coins. It's like a tailgate, but you have the license to dress like kind of a douchebag if you want. <gasps> if you want. So if you've never been to Keeneland and you've never been to Kentucky for horse racing, like think of like Southern class. You've probably kind seen of the Kentucky Derby on TV. and guys wear khakis and or, sports or jackets. Or salmon pants. Or salmon pants. Or seersucker if you don't suits. know what seersucker is but don't be that guy google it no one needs to be that guy like button yeah. down and, and and khakis is totally cool yeah you know but totally like girls wear the dresses you don't wear hats always some girls wear hats i don't wear hats but right it's not like the derby but yeah. imagine the derby just dialed down a little bit so, um, oh my gosh jose is not, thank you but it's not my first early yeah i want to see i want to see the mash and drum Wearing some salmon pants. I would like to see that yes. also. Um, but I want to say uh, bourbon it's blind. Sarah's birthday month. That's what Pam calls it. Bourbon blind is Kyle. 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 I was like, what are you trying to say? Well, I'm so bad at names. Yes, Kyle. Who was in town this week. Yeah. yeah. And we also met Kenny. 
uh, from uh, the Bourbon Pursuit podcast. Mm-hmm. So we met a lot of new new people there. So great to meet everyone. Welcome, Billy Harris and thank you, from Jose. Memphis. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'd like to drink some more of this, but I know you won't let me. I think, I mean, it's so good. Should we just do that recipe? You just want to double it? Double it again? Maybe. Oh, man. I Like, what is it? I don't really want to change it. What does it not have? I don't Nothing. know. Nothing. It's perfect. It's the best bourbon in the world. No, it's not. No, it is. <laughs> I defy anyone. They haven't tried it, so they we don't know. We should enter this into the San Francisco you World Spirits. You can't do that. You can't do that. We're using other people's products. We can't just take credit. So do other people. Okay, but we didn't buy the rights to it. We don't have a license. We don't have a to, license. No, we don't have a blender's license. He's it's illegal. Very, oh, you need to do a pre-Christmas meetup. Ooh. Well, October is pre-Christmas. No, that's not what she means. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sarah's birthday month where every week she gets to pick one something that she wants to try out and open it from Jazz Collection. <laughs> I don't think that's going to fly. I would pick some things. I would. Oh, she would pick some things. I would pick some things. <laughs> uh, like that William Heaven Hill. <laughs> yeah. Wait, which one? The 11 year or the, the one 14 that's not year? open? Neither of them are. The, the red label one. That's the 11 year. I've had that for like three years. That's the one I want to open. Uh-huh. 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 He's not going to do it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Sarah's birthday extravaganza. This is really good. They, they're they in favor of me doing this. Oh, I bet they are. When have they ever teamed up with you? Oh, <laughs> Brian, you brought you got the VIP tickets for New Orleans. That's awesome. It's so worth it. I mean, I think if you're going to go down there, you're going to book the hotel, you're going to buy the tickets, you should pay for the VIP hour because there are so many things that you can try. Yeah. That if you got them at a bar, it would be like $300 just to try a few of them. Yes. So you definitely should do it. So we'll see you there. We'll see you there. But we'll see, I'm sure we'll this see is really good. Then. They're just in Indiana. You guys need to go to Keeneland on October 6th, Lexington, Kentucky. Roy can't come. <laughs> and Roy, get a plane ticket. And uh, try this. And try this. And try this. Keeneland meetup blend. Because it's been, it's mingled for two weeks. We're going to add our final things to it, let it mingle all the way up until October 6th. It should be good to go. Should be good to go. Mm. Jose, I hope you'll be there at New Orleans, yeah. probably not Keeneland, but I hope you're at both. Yeah. Um, Mark Brown said, we all know Chad's bottles are also Sarah's, and I f- regularly tell Chad, what's yours is yeah, mine, and I've, what's mine is mine. I read that, but I decided not to read it out loud. <laughs> <clears throat> hey. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more. We got more a few minutes? Yeah, we got From it. Adam's collection. Again, if you're just joining, this is Adam Nelson, who sent us 28 of these Amazing. Labeled, sealed samples. I mean, what a nice guy. Like, that took some time. I respect that. That is dedication. That's and what? Um, we had some votes. We haven't done the boondocks. We had, and, and that's what uh, someone had said to do the boondocks. So let's do that. Okay. Because we've had the bell made before. We have. So this is Boondocks Cast Strength American Whiskey. This is an 11 year, and it's 127 proof on the dot. All right. That sounds good. This is good to go. Uh, no, I didn't rinse. Thank you. What a disaster. Ooh, someone else voted for the Old Forge Moose 76. I think we're probably going to run out of time. But we'll, we we have enough bottles to do another day of this, honestly. Uh, at least a couple of days. A couple of days. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like you keep doing it. Absolutely. That. Jeez. That's correct. What? What? This doesn't look like no 11 year. This. American whiskey, not bourbon. This is some light stuff. It's so light. So they did something to where it didn't comply with. But it smells good. Bourbon laws. And it might be the barrel? Maybe it's a used barrel? Perhaps. Monday night Jaeger bomb party. Very funny, Dustin. Very funny. <laughs> Again, for $100. Next week, I'll if have... If someone brings me a Jaeger bomb on my birthday, I'm going to punch you Jager in bombs, the face. Jaeger bombs. Jaeger no. bombs. You ever watch that video? No. That YouTube video? Jaeger bombs. Jaeger bombs. Jaeger bombs. I do not... No. No. No? Okay. Not going to do it. Is this champagne? No. Champagne? Come sit by the fire. We drink champagne. Now you've done it. Now you've done it. Oh, you're missing your glove. Monica, if you want Chad's hat, you can get it on bourboneoutfitters.com. I bought it for him for his birthday this year because I'm uh, great. Uh. <laughs> No one will deny that. Oh, thanks. 
That's like the closest he's ever come to saying anything nice about me on air. On air. <laughs> hey, it's actually pretty good. It's got a lot more kick than you would think. I mean, you would think for 127 proof, but just looking at the the color, the lightness. If someone blindfolded you and gave this to you, not I just blinded was, you, blindfolded you. I would, oh, blindfolded. Okay. So you couldn't see how light this is. Right. I, I thought you were saying if you were didn't know what it was, but you could see how light. I would say, is this a Scotch? Is this Mountain Dew? <laughs> it honestly <laughs> looks like Mountain Dew. It doesn't taste like Mountain Dew. It tastes like Mountain Shine. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Um, well, aged. Aged shine. I mean, it's pretty mellow for the proof. For the 127, it doesn't feel like a 127. It feels more like a 110. Okay, I'll drive down to Keelan with Jaeger. As Don't. long as you come, Dustin. As long as you... Like, seriously. I want to see as many people at Keeneland for Sarah's birthday Stop. as we can. It, trust me. It'll be worth it. Trust me. I never get this emphatic about anything. And you know it. October 6th, Lexington, Kentucky, Keeneland. What are the hours? 10 to 3? 10 to whenever. I'm 10 scared. to question mark? <laughs> Trust me. We're, we're on the lawn. Everyone's tailgating. There's these big screen TVs where you can watch the race. There's people out there There's food with trucks. electronic things that can take your bet. You don't even have to go into the building, but you can if you want to experience you know, horse racing. This is in, in Kentucky. In Kentucky. Lexington, Kentucky. Okay? I'm telling you. Come to the meetup if you can. Get a free challenge coin that you can only get there. Taste from our tailgate bottle. Whatever. I'll probably get chicken minis from Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Who doesn't like Chick-fil-A? We're going to bring a lot of our bottles. We'll be we will bring for a lot of guys. bottles, yeah. Trust me, it's going to uh, be a great time. I'm definitely bringing my Rhetoric 22. There you go. I'm going to bring my birthday bourbon from 2015. There you go. Um, I'm going to bring some special we're things. We're going to bring some special things. Yes. And some regular things and our own special made things. So. I'm, I'm telling you, Roy, fly over. <laughs> Stop it. I'm telling You're you, You're making Roy. me scared. I'm like, will there be, like, an elephant? Will there be a circus? I'm confused. I feel like you're over-promising yep. for what I'm supposed to deliver. Everyone will be on stilts. If you come, you have to put on stilts. You don't <laughs> understand why people like Chick-fil-A, but have you ever had a chicken mini? <laughs> it's right. okay. It's just a thing. I'm pretty sure they put cocaine in the flour, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you can talk about cocaine, but when I do, it's all. I didn't. It was a different context. No, okie okay, dokie. Okay. All right. Well, anyways, <laughs> this was actually very surprising. Mm. Blinded would, I mean, like it's so light. It's so light, I wouldn't trust it if I saw it first. But if somebody blindfolded me and gave me this, I would be like, yeah, this is great. I don't understand. So this is the Boondocks Cast Strength American Whiskey. It's 11 years. 11 years. And 127. It's very smooth. It doesn't taste... I just don't know why it's so light. It doesn't taste 127. I don't know either, and we're going to have to do some research on that. Yeah, for sure. It's very mild, so... Anyways. I would recommend it. I would recommend it, too. It's good. It's tasty. Mm. I think that's the most off thing we've ever recommended, as far as, like, not being, like, something we would normally say. Yeah. You know? No, it's tasty. But anyways, um... It's tasty. Bourbon Blind says he'll be in Orlando for work that weekend. Oh, baby. It's okay. Man. It's okay. As long as more people show up than they did to our meetup yesterday. Attendance was a little low, but you know. But it was a busy time. It's and it a was busy hot. time. We had a better turnout in Austin from we, those well, who were in Austin. Yeah. I mean, for our meetup. For our meetup, yes. Yeah. Um, but you know, we don't. We didn't mind. Uh, just means we have a couple challenge coins left, which is which See, is cool. Here's the problem with talking about Chick Fil A. It's Sunday, and I can't have it, and now I want it. Damn you, Billy. So it is like crack. It <laughs> yeah. is like crack. Uh, gotta get that Chick-fil-A. Troy, don't even start. What? Don't look at it. Just ignore it. Don't look at it. Move on. Okay, good. <laughs> Why? Nothing. What did he say? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, We're all good. Well, apparently the Titans win. The Titans won. Yay. Billy. Just get Wendy's. I might get Wendy's. I'm pretty <laughs> hungry, actually. Um, yeah. Anyways, yes. It's fun. I feel like we've run out of things to say. <laughs> I think that means it's time to hop off. We're no, uh, our numbers are dropping. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, I do want to talk about, just to wrap up, Yes. talk about Patreon. Um, because we're getting really close to meeting uh, our next goal. 
and I want to kind of explain what that goal would entail because it just says new equipment. Um, we're talking about a better camera that will help us with vlogging, and we're also talking about a switcher that will help out with live, so we could cut to a computer to bring up, you know, pictures or websites or things like that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, a, a switcher for live would so we uh, could show you more of what we're talking about. Yeah, and if we had guests, we could set up a second camera, switch to that. Switch, and then it wouldn't just be like four people packed into yeah. one frame. It would yeah. be like actual back and forth. Yeah, so we're talking about stuff like that for our uh, for our next one, and we're really thinking about overhauling the Patreon site soon as well, adding some new stuff, kind of rehauling it. Uh, we just super appreciate our patrons, and we just put out our Rip Van Winkle episode was a Patreon episode. Mm -hmm. So it's because of patrons, yeah, Rip Ten, thank you, um, that we can do bottles like that and and more cool stuff like this. And like, that we can get bottles like this. Yes, this was a yeah. patron bottle, patron, patron bottle. video or bottle. <laughs> um, and this whole live thing started because of Patreon. Like we didn't have these live shows until we met. Our very first goal on Patreon, so it's Thank just really guys. cool, and we really appreciate you guys and, and everybody who watches here and everyone who watches. There's a lot of cool stuff coming, both both ways, you know, yeah. both we've both got, things. We've got bigger dreams now than we did when we made the Patreon page earlier this year. So, and that's been made possible by you guys. And like, the more people we see, the more our world kind of opens up to what we could do. So, we really appreciate it. Yeah, you know, it's all because of you guys. So. Absolutely. Thanks, and thanks for watching. Thanks yes. for taking time out of your Sunday to watch. We appreciate yes. you guys. Back to football, right? Right? That sounds pretty <laughs> nice, actually. I'd yeah. like to just recline and watch some football. Nice. All right. With some uh, Wendy's. With some Wendy's. So we're going to work on this tailgate bottle, get it all nice and ready, um, and eat some Wendy's and watch <laughs> football, I guess. <laughs> I guess. So. All right. Cool. cool. Well, that'll do it. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. And thank you, Adam, for supplying uh, the samples for today. You did such a great job. Uh, we didn't have one that we didn't like, which Honestly, is very cool. Honestly, that's true. Yeah. So, very, cool. Very good. Very good. All right. Well. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. And until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm-hmm.